everybody. Uh, we're gonna get some, go and collect all our sap. So like I said in the previous video, I think we have 14 uh, gallon jugs going. And most of them, since I dumped them out about, I don't know, 11 or 12 yesterday. <clears throat> so they only had half the day to collect. Um, I think we'll end up for sure with at least five gallons to uh, boil off and that's a pretty good amount because uh, it does take a while. So I'm going to start in the back with our pail and then uh, as the pail gets heavier I, I bring it up. So that's about two gallons I just grabbed. I'm gonna grab them off, grab some more off the ones by the drive. And we're gonna go and uh, actually get the kettle going and start boiling off, then I'll go grab the other stuff. And this will make it plenty heavy to uh, carry all the way back over by the workshop. I think you can hear, that's, a, that's all ice in there. I'm not quite sure if you would think it wouldn't, the, only the water would freeze and it would help with the separation of the sugar out of it and stuff. I'm not sure. I've heard it both ways where you could skim off the ice you know because it, it's saying it's just be water but I'm not I'm not completely sure. So whatever comes out we're happy with but but with reading about the maple syrup We've learned that, you know, our type of woods where all the branches and leaves and stuff are primarily just at the top versus one that's out in a field where it's like a big bl bloom. Uh, the ratio of uh, syrup you get from it changes a lot. Like we've, like if it's out in a field, <coughs> excuse me, it's like 40 to one. And I'm like, that's a lot. And then, but, in ours, it's it's almost 70, 80 to one, we've heard from some of the local guys. Uh, so, we might have a lot to burn off, but no, we're not selling it or anything. It's just for us and to uh, give out some uh, my parents and uh, Sparkle's parents and, and, you know, it's just some friends. So, so we don't need that much, but yeah, well, we'll let you know how much we start with and how much we actually end up with so maybe that'll help you gauge how many taps you need to put in uh, wherever you do your maple syrup all right we got one more jug to gather right here and let's get to boiling Ooh, this 
one's full. again. So I think it's supposed to warm up a little more today it's it's just right below freezing right now so I don't think anything will flow there's no Sun out it's overcast but this is a six gallon pail um, left over from when we got actual grape juice for making wine at one point in the past but now we actually get grapes so this is about four gallons right now so let's get this boiling All right, so we have about four gallons here. Um, I'm gonna just add a little bit in and I'm gonna get this thing fired up and we'll just keep adding to it. All right, I got a pretty good flame underneath. I'm gonna try and keep it just to a rolling boil, um, just so I don't caramelize it. But yeah, it's just all the ice in there. Alright, well I'm glad I have a backup uh, propane tank because uh, it's going to take a lot of energy to get this up to a boil. You know, you can see all the ice in here. Alright, let's go and grab uh, the other, uh, I don't know how many other pails we have or gallon jugs we have going, but got a couple more. Then we'll just have it all here. And throughout the day, I'll just keep adding, but it does take hours. Don't, don't anybody else kid you. It takes hours. Honey and I tromped through the woods. We got about an hour, and I'm just shy of three gallons. <clears throat> so I'm going to call what we picked up this morning a total of uh, seven gallons, and we're going to see where it boils down to. And Honey dropped her tennis ball in the pond. <clears throat> but we're starting to get a boil now. It's bubbling. Uh, so we're going to actually can really smell the sap now. Yeah, so I actually have allergies to this. So I'm going to keep my distance. So what I have going on here is, well, Honey, but honey, very interested in it. <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> it's not that windy today, but there's enough of a breeze that I just don't want to waste all the propane energy. So 
I'm just I added some scraps. I'm just building up a temporary wind block, and so I'm just gonna put a couple screws into it just so it doesn't fall over and uh, hit our tank or the sap. So yeah, let's do that, and then uh, we'll just let it keep boiling. Honey's always in the way. All right, so just two quick screws in there so I can take it apart easy, but uh, yeah, I just wanna block that wind a little bit. All right, I don't know if you can see it, but we're starting to steam and Honey's keeping an eye on it too. But that's a good sign. All right, it's finally up to a good boil. <clears throat> I turned down the flow of uh, propane um, just to have it be a nice rolling boil because it was, uh, I don't want it to splash out because it is boiling after all. So, hope you can, yeah, you can see the steam it looks like. So, just gonna let it do, do its thing and we're gonna keep working on projects around here on the property. <laughs> 